great to be here addressing you guys this Saturday morning. I walked up to my dad the other day and I said, Dad, you want to hear a sex joke? My dad looked at me and said, um, I can see one. <laughs> but he's extremely proud that I'm here addressing you at TEDx BNMIT. I came in here nice and early, thought I'll interact with some of the students. As soon as I walked in the campus, I met a bunch of kids who came up to me and said, are you Sriram Sulia from the radio? You're the voice on the radio. Oh my God, we love your voice. I hate to break it to you guys. I love the sound of my voice too. <laughs> in fact, it's really distracting. Halfway through a conversation with anybody, I completely switch off and I start to imagine how amazing this would sound if I say the exact same thing to myself. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, great to be here. Good morning. My name is Sriram Sulia. I am a radio personality, been doing radio for the last 10 years now. I am a corporate host and MC, which takes me to different parts of the world. It's quite a nice gig. I'm also a content producer, which means I conceptualize, I shoot, I do the edits myself and I post videos on the internet. Along with this, I'm also a recent uh, dad. This, this is my 15 month old baby. Her name is Arya and she thinks I'm her pet and she's given me permission to come here and talk to you guys. So it's great to be here. Let's talk about being a content producer, being a content manager in today's world. It's a fast paced world. Thanks to the internet, the world is getting smaller and smaller and information travels faster than the speed of sound travels sometimes faster than you can imagine. How many of you remember the mannequin challenge? Yeah, it, it seems like it was so long ago though, because we've already moved on to whatever the next stupid thing was that took over the internet. But in today's modern day world, we like our news compressed in 140 to 280 characters. We have no Unkal the Lundraja Idda stories. Instead, we have 15 second stories that start and end in no time whatsoever. But I want you to notice something. This is the playing field that you have, but all of us, here in this room and each and every individual, thanks to the internet, thanks to social media, we are all licensed little media houses. Whenever you post a picture, whenever you post a video on YouTube, you are going over a couple of filters, you are editing the content, you are writing your own caption and you're posting it up. Notice the time when you make this post. Notice how frequent you actually put up these posts. What you're doing is nothing but programming what an actual media house would do. Whereas each individual gets to do it now. And that's the reason why I say the world is getting smaller and smaller. And each and every one of us have power over content. Information is traveling so fast, but what you do with that information could really show how creative you are and how the news can actually be not manipulated, but given a good spin that could actually help out. Notice a small little thin line in between there. Um, being a content provider in today's world, or if you're a creative person, mundane gets boring what you do every day can get boring really, really fast. Instead, you'll find more and more ways that excite you. Doing the same thing over and over again, sure it can be done, whereas you won't settle for the same thing if you're a creative person. You'll think of how an idea can excite you. You'll see how you can constantly push the envelope, how you can get edgier and edgier and how you can actually make this content work for you and how it can actually make a bigger impact. In, in all the information that we get today and the spin-offs that we have and everything, the impact that it has 
is kind of unknown until you actually put any story out and that's why i feel all of us are swimming in uncharted waters because you don't know how deep it is you don't know how far a story can go but as long as the storm lasts you'll absolutely enjoy this ride as long as you know you've given it a hundred percent however i want you to hold on to a thought and this is something that each and every one of you if you're a content provider or a creative person or absolutely any field that you choose to in life you'll absolutely see things happening right in front of you whereas whether you want to grab that opportunity or you want to let it go is completely up to you sure you'll see something happen right in front of you and whether you want to do that one extra bit let's say you have a simple assignment sure you've completed it sure it's good enough to sail through it's not extraordinary you know that but it's okay to sail through or you can grab it by the horns and you can do an extraordinary piece out of it it is something that's completely left to you and that is something that you'll notice happen right in front of you but what you do about it makes the difference between a couple of individuals and I always want you guys to go by your gut. Gut feeling says I need to do this. Always go by your gut because most of the time, most of the time your gut feeling is the right feeling. And even if you fail after that, it's okay because you stood by your decision and now you face the consequences because you made this decision happen. Now, as complete controller of the content that you put out, you want it to get more and more edgy. You want it to get more and more out there. You want it to be cutting edge. You want it to make an impact to each and every individual who sees your content. But there is always a problem of offending people that can happen a whole lot, especially in our country. We are uh, second highest population in the world, but how we got there, no one wants to talk about it. <laughs> we can't touch religion and uh, there are plenty of taboos in our country, but you can still go ahead and talk about anything, say in the, bro in the world of broadcasting, simple things could, uh, could unruffle a whole lot of feathers. Uh, and uh, failures do happen every now and then but I would like to wear these failures as badges of honor and uh, make a big learning curve out of this uh, let me just uh, put up the next slide but I'll set up a bit of context for you guys this happened on the radio when I was talking about International Men's Day and how International Men's Day, men don't get as much loving as we probably um, would in comparison to International Women's Day. And I happen to bring up the fact that um, International Toilet Day is celebrated the very same day as International Men's Day. Is that a coincidence? Is that a funny coincidence? Or is that not funny at all? Are we offending somebody by stating facts? So I happen to mention this on the radio and before I even know it, a lady was completely offended with her complete gang of men. Uh, she was sitting in Delhi and she came to know that uh, I spoke about International Men's Day and International Toilet Day being on the same day. So you'll notice the first tweet that says Men's Day comparing it with International Toilet Day. Things can be blown out of proportion. It can go from one to another. I had to withstand uh, a rain of trolls uh, and it's a whole lot of fun. I, I really wish all of you get to experience it. It really is fun. Uh, and uh, you start to receive tons of hate mails. You start to receive tons of threats. Uh, I even got mails asking my company to fire me. There were complaints to the police station that happened. I was even made a meme out of. And you know you've arrived when people start making memes out of you. So uh, it's fantastic how things can actually go from one, from zero to hundred in absolutely no time. But 
things do settle down really quickly in today's world and people do tend to move on quite quickly as well and as long as you are correct you are factually right because by the end of the day you are broadcasting and you need to have your ethics in place and at the same time you know you're doing a right job justified 100% when later things are probed when you're questioned so as long as you have all of those covered you're pretty much sorted up next i'd like to take you through a small video uh, can we just have the video played this is a video that's doing the rounds on whatsapp um, i shot this video a couple of years ago but uh, on whatsapp people seem to be sharing it today whenever i speak in canada people do respect me a lot uh, they feel proud that you know someone from outside is speaking canada so canada gotilla and all is like gone now no more kaveri neer kurud mele canada parle be now this video was shot in 2016 this guy his name is namgyal sonam he is a restaurant in koramangala and i shot this video for kannada rajyotsava uh, that's coming up and uh, when i shot this video and posted it up online no views whatsoever <laughs> absolutely no one gave two hoots about it but couple of years down the line i start to see different parts of the very same video are doing the rounds all over the place no mention of my name no mention of what i did with this video but it's out there I'd now like to take you through another video that uh, you must have seen with a trend called the Kiki challenge. <laughs> oh, just watch this video. Can we have this video played please? Kiki challenge going on. Stop on. Go for it. Okay. Oh. Me love me. Are you right? Say never leave. Do the Yamraj feel. Put that Yamraj. Yeah. Now this video is doing the rounds saying Bangalore traffic police made this video <laughs> you put your content out there sure there are different interpretations there are different ways how people actually use the video to their advantage and uh, i have no qualms about it because when we made the video the idea was to put the right message out there and that was the whole intention behind it and this was my creative spin off to a trend that was caught on on the internet sure we used the yamraj that uh, who is widely associated with bangalore traffic police funnily enough even bangalore traffic police said no di nam video <laughs> when they <laughs> when they had nothing to do with it but they were happy enough to put it on their social media pages saying look what a wonderful video our team has come up with uh but as long as the intention is served right absolutely no qualms about it uh, of late i have been indulging with uh, a few other videos as well but i really think i have hit a hilt and i need to stop can we have the next video up please yum and c is not mc it is mc oh 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 i understood so is it Thank you. You made it so simple. Gosh, I, I get it. it. Don't ask me what he's on. <laughs> But <laughs> this is the result of um, late night. I couldn't sleep, and uh, these videos were coming one after another. Simple two-minute edits, and uh, before you even know it. it's doing the rounds on the internet and i start to receive all sorts of messages from the followers and i guess it was a really slow day in news channels because they thought this was worth covering <laughs> they're like hey you're receiving death threats i said no they're just sending sharpas <laughs> there is a difference between a death threat and a sharpa but that's how information gets misconstrued and people consume it in today's world so as a content provider i am totally okay with information doing the rounds as long as you aren't 
you aren't manipulating it and you are doing your fair bit of research you are giving it your 100 percent before putting anything up and have a sense of responsibility before you actually do it is it is fantastic how we can all express our creative freedom whether the videos we post are of some use to anybody or it's just self expression that's totally up to you guys as well but I would say indulge more and more with social media because it has definitely made the world a smaller place and at the same time things are changing absolutely every single day and there is lack of good content out there uh, there's so much of rubbish it is up to each and every one of us to actually use this medium to the right extent while we actually can before more and more stringent regulations are put up have a ball with everything that you post and uh, each and every single day um, just be aware of the kind of news that you actually see and uh, just check before you forward anything out there uh, but it is lovely uh, to see so many of you here this saturday and uh, uh, i would definitely like to conclude my entire talk with saying that you can actually make a difference um, the world has now made it possible for you to sit in your garage in your backyard and express yourself as much as possible and it can make a difference as long as there is substance in it and there is consistency uh, so keep putting stuff out there and keep trying and uh, let's connect more and more as uh, the days come by the future really is interesting it's exciting we're all swimming in uncharted waters and we're always looking at what's the next breakthrough that's going to happen so living in this exciting times makes it all the more interesting thanks once again for listening to me guys it's been fantastic addressing you guys oh yeah that that's my social media handle and uh, i'm not directly asking you to follow me see you there <laughs> all right thank you once again